So we are going to do a Phoenix Suns season outlook in 10 minutes or less. Are you ready? Let's talk. Hey, if you are new to my page, do me a favor and subscribe so you can hear me talk more good stuff. Thank you. All right, man. Phoenix Suns. The Suns have young, good talent. They have Devin Booker. He's a dog. Yeah. DeAndre Ayton. We both think that he's going to be good. This dude, I believe, scored more points in the paint than I uh, like per possession or something Some like that. Like it was that, something yeah. weird. Analytics. I don't know how much you want to look into he's it, good. but he's good. He's he talented. He was suspended last season. So we, we kind of got a lot of him taken away last year because of COVID too. Mm-hmm. So it was like, we didn't see much of him. But then you pair hit that guy, a big guy like that with a guy like Chris Paul, you yes. see what Chris Paul just did on OKC <laughs> last year. I, in my opinion, his leadership and then kind of what he brought to that team is what made them succeed in the way they did. So then you have, in my opinion, you have Chris Paul coming to a young team again, but an even more talented team. If he can guide Devin Booker in any sort of way, I mean, Devin Booker is already great. And I don't know that this team is def- ah, definitely a wild card. That was a weird. My bad. Um, It's a wild card. I don't think they're surefire play a playoff team because I think they could go either way. Just because, again, it's hard to say a team that's <clears throat> won barely any fucking games in the last however many years is all of a sudden going to turn it around fully. But with what they've done to the roster it on paper it should yeah i feel you man and the way they closed out the season granted it was in the bubble i don't know how much you want to take from that you know i believe the suns went undefeated right yeah they went undefeated they look great but i can speak for sure for the lakers after that first game and they secured their first seed they didn't really give a damn. They didn't really play hard, you know, and they didn't, you know, finish the season too strong. They're like, we don't care. We're going into the playoffs. We're going to kill everybody. To, we're going to win the championship. We already got first seed. We don't give a damn about these games. So how many teams or how many games did the Phoenix Suns play where teams weren't really bringing it? They didn't even really want to be there. You know, they were missing their families or whatever the hell they want to say, you know, yeah, but I don't know. At the same time, it's like, hey, we're here for eight games and we're going home. We don't care. We're chilling anything, with our homies. That discredits them, though, more than the Suns. I'll take it. You might as well play hard if you're there. So I don't think that's always the case. So you're saying give credit where credit is due. The Suns went there, took care of business, won out our games. They look good. Just like in preseason. You could say whatever you want about preseason, but when, like, when players play, they play. They yeah. play to win. So if you're not playing to win, then that's on you. Shouldn't you shouldn't be there. You and shouldn't. I think that's going to show something in the Suns, and I think the Suns went out there to make sure, like they're trying to show that that they're 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 trying to turn it around. And and again, it's it's a weird situation because all the talent's there, but it's like something's been fucking them up. Maybe the organization, maybe whatever. But right now, with maybe the- a, a strong veteran presence like Chris Paul. Chris Paul, he he he's a vet. Yeah, he's a leader. <laughs> He's going to tell you how it is. He's he's trying to win. He doesn't care where he's at. He's trying to win, and he's an all-time great. I'm excited to see how the pairing of Chris Paul and Devin Booker uh, is going to be. I think it's going to be great. I, I feel like Chris Paul could fit anywhere, whenever. Yeah, because he's just going to – he doesn't care. He doesn't always have to score. And again, yeah. you have DeAndre Aiden. That team can be really good, man. I, and I hope they do, honestly. I like Devin Booker a lot. I like Chris Paul sometimes. All right, let's do let's do key offseason ac- um, acquisition or addition and subtraction. Obviously, it's Chris Paul. What was that Chris Paul trade? What did they give up for Chris Paul? All right, let's talk to starting five. Starting five is Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Devin Booker Mikhail Bridges, Cameron Johnson at power forward, and DeAndre Aiden at center. You know, I feel like, The other two are irrelevant. The fact that they have Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and DeAndre Aiden starting, that's that's solid. Yeah, that's a good big three. But that's what I mean where, like, this team is needs to be tested first because, like, that's what I mean by to X factor because they can over-succeed, under-succeed. Like, it's kind of hard to call it. 
Okay, so the, Chris Paul was traded to the Suns for Kelly Oubre, Ricky Rubio, Ty Jerome, and Jalen, I'm going to butcher your name, Lacroix, something like that, and a 2020, uh, 2022 first-round pick. I feel like that, you know, the Suns got a steal, considering that Kelly Oubre got traded immediately again to the Warriors. Warriors and then Ricky Rubio went to the Timberwolves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, essentially, uh, I'm assuming the Pelicans just stockpile picks. Uh, excuse me, the okay, Thunder so, uh, stockpile picks. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the biggest loss right there is Kelly Oubre. The only was a baller on that team. Yeah, Ricky year. Rubio. Who cares? You're getting Chris Paul, first round pick. Who cares? You're trying to win. So I could dig it. I guess. <clears throat> excuse me. If I'm a Suns fan, I make that trade. Yeah, you, um, I. I remember I brought it up before on a podcast and I I was like getting rid of Kelly Oubre hurt. But the fact that you get Chris Paul, you're trying to compete. You know, I don't think that's going to be enough for them to do anything too big. But let's see. Go push Because right you never direction. know because they're solid in the backcourt. And then you got DeAndre Aiden in the front court holding it down. That's Damn. what I'm saying. It's a, it's shaky for them. I don't know. All right, let's see. Uh, let's talk playoffs. I'm going to name some teams. You tell me if you think... The Suns are going to have a better record or a worse record. Are they going to have a better record than the Lakers? No. The Clippers? No. The Nuggets? No. Nope. The Jazz? No. Warriors? They're not going to have a better record than the Warriors. The Blazers? No. The Pelicans? Yeah. All right, so you got them at like the seventh, eighth seed. You got them barely squeaking into the playoffs. But you didn't say the Rockets. Yeah, because what about the Rockets? If they have James Harden? They're not going to have a better record than them. Then if they don't have James Harden, that's the breaker here. Because I got the don't. I got the Suns in the playoffs. Even if they don't. I don't think them trading James Harden makes them not in the playoffs at all. I don't see them. If they trade James Harden, I don't see them having a better record than the Suns or any of the teams that you said before that. So let's see, man. Because you're still trading James Harden. You're not not getting anything back out of that. Yeah, but when you have a bunch of B or A- minus players... When you play those A++, you're not going to beat them. You're not going to do, you know what I'm saying, do good on a consistent basis. I don't know, bro. You got John they Wall may be Boogie. a – see, that's the that's the key. What is the health to John Wall and Boogie? That is an X factor as well. So those are two, like, very high-risk, high-reward things for the Rockets. One, is James Harden there? Two – what Jan, uh, what John Wall and what DeMarcus Cousins are we getting? But then what you also get back out of James Harden, I think, is a big thing. Yeah. So it goes back and forth. I just, I don't know. All right, so we'll leave that until it happens, if it happens. We'll end it right here. Do you have the Phoenix Suns making the playoffs? I don't think they're going to. No playoffs for the Phoenix Suns, and let's see what happens. Let's talk. Smash!